Soyuz, in fact, is the launcher which led the way to space for satellites and for men. The manned version has carried into orbit more than a hundred Russian cosmonauts, and since 1978, 23 Europeans, dozens of American astronauts and other nationals. Europe has also entrusted the Russian launcher with space probes today circling Mars and Venus, astronomy satellites and spacecraft monitoring the weather on our planet. The rocket dates back to the Cold War era. Under the name R-7, it was the Soviets' first intercontinental ballistic missile, its first successful flight in 1957. The rocket hit the headlines during the space race, launching the first satellite, Sputnik, in 1957, and then 50 years ago this year, sending the first man into space, Yuri Gagarin. The manufacturer, at the end of the 19th century, had started out making bicycles. Then in Samara, 800 kilometers east of Moscow, had diversified into aircraft and rockets. By the early 80s, the company TSSKB Progress was rolling out 60 rockets a year. Several versions of the Soyuz have been produced, but the launcher assembled at the European spaceport uses the most recent 21A and 21B iterations of the basic and highly reliable design. At its base, a first stage, four tapered boosters around the central core, which constitutes the second stage. After liftoff, the boosters burn for close to two minutes before being jettisoned. The second stage burns for nearly five minutes, and then above it a third stage for a further two. The Soyuz versions to be operated from French Guiana use an upgraded, more powerful third stage, which also carries the launcher's digital avionics. These allow a more flexible and accurate flight control system, also required when the new enlarged payload fairing is installed on the vehicle. The same propellants, liquid oxygen and kerosene are used to power the engines of the Soyuz three main stages. For satellite automatic missions, the uppermost stage is the Fregat, an autonomous, highly maneuverable orbital vehicle. Its engines, using storable propellants, can be restarted up to 20 times, extending the Soyuz access to a full range of orbits. Operating the Soyuz out of French Guiana is a logical step. First, for Ariane Space, whose StarSem offshoot has been commercializing and operating the launcher with its Russian partners from Baikonur since 1996, and at this turning point in space history, it is a just reward for the venerable rocket, whose name in Russian stands for Union. <laughs>